The first thing I'm gonna do is actually make a background layer just to make it easier for you to see. These logo templates are on a transparent background, which will make it easier when you go to print. But just for the visualization of this video, I'm just gonna fill that with a white. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with these logo templates is to change the wording. All you need to do is grab your type tool and you can navigate over to your layers panel and highlight the layer of text that you want to edit. So this one is the crafted layer. Let me just select all of that and I'm gonna change this to big pine. And I'm gonna change the bottom where it says the vector lab into outfitters. The next thing I wanna do actually is change the font. And this PDF I have open here is a visual reference for all those fonts. I like this font called Ultra, so let's try that. So with the text tool, let's just highlight all that type and let's change it to Ultra. And you'll notice that the tracking on this is now way too close. It worked for the other font, but now the letters are really kind of overlapping each other. So let's select all that and let's increase our tracking. And I think that looks pretty good at 200. And let's go back up to where it says Big Pine and highlight all of that and let's change that to the ultra font. So what's going on here is the tracking and the font size is too big for the space available. So let's turn our tracking. Right now, the tracking is at 200. At default, it's zero. Let's change the font size to 90 to match the bottom. Now we can really increase our tracking just to space those letters out a little bit. You know, I may go to, let's try 100. And I think that looks pretty good. Now you'll notice this amount of space right down here between the bottom of the T and the inside of this circle. There's a little bit more space at the top here. So if you need to adjust that, you could just go Command T and you could just drag it up a little bit like that. Uh, the next thing I wanna show you is, let's go to another logo template where I have some pine trees and let's highlight that layer that says trees. Go Command A, Command C and we'll go ahead and hide that lion layer and go Command V to paste it in. And I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. I'm starting to think just to match the theme of this, Let's go ahead and change our art color and our type to green. So with all the shapes and the borders in these logo templates, you're gonna change the colors with the color overlay. So you'll see in this layer, it says color overlay. Just double click on that and you can assign it a nice green like that. And the other thing, let's, just to make this easy, Let's sample that and make that our foreground color. So now we can just double click on these other color overlays and sample that foreground color. The other way you could do it is to control click and go copy layer style. And for these pine trees, we can go paste layer style. And that's gonna paste that same green in there. Now with the type, it's a little bit different. The type, what you need to do is you can go in and highlight the type and either in your character window or at the top of the screen here, you can click on that color and then you can sample your foreground color. And let's do that with the top type here. Where it says Photoshop and Illustrator Let's change that to backcountry. And let's go ahead and change the color of that like the other ones. And let's increase the font size and the tracking. And where it says logo templates, let's say California. And let's highlight that type and assign it the green. And here where it says since 2008, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right in the center there. Let's hide the 2008 
and let's highlight this and I'm gonna change this to a script and one of the scripts that comes with Logo Design Master Collection is called Playball. So let's type out since and 2008 and let's change that font to Playball. And since it's a script, you want your tracking to be zero because the letters are supposed to touch where they connect. And we'll change that to green. And I think that looks really good. Now, if you're sending this out for screen printing, you could send the file just like this. If you're sending it out for direct to garment printing, and let's say your vendor is asking for a transparent PNG, you can just turn off that background color that we made there. And now we have it transparent. You can go file, export, save for web legacy, and Let's turn on PNG and we can turn that down to two colors. That way we don't get any weird little in-between anti-aliasing colors. And our width is 4,500 pixels. So at 300 dots per inch, that's 15 inches across, which is pretty huge. That's about as big as you want to go for a normal back size graphic. So let's say we wanted it a little bit smaller. Let's just change it to 4,000 pixels and click save. So that's how to edit the logo templates in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching.